started UNC today, and just in time, the old well officially reopening with improvements. Anna Rivera joins us live now in Chapel Hill with more. Anna? Well, John, you can see this line of people, and one thing is for certain, it is the first day of classes at UNC Chapel Hill. They're all lining up to do this. Take a sip out of the old well, but this year it'll be easier for all students. Take a look at this. This is the newest addition to the well this year. The ramp will make it much more accessible for students with disabilities. It cost $400,000 to add the ramp, all of it funded by donations. Brooks Fitz has cerebral palsy, and he graduated from UNC Chapel Hill last year. He fought to add the ramp to the well with the hope of making it more accessible for every Tar Heel, a challenge he faced as a student himself when he went to, went to take a sip for good luck. Uh, it was hard. It was harder for folks in wheelchairs and folks who couldn't who, uh, couldn't uh, access the well at all, but just having the symbol of our university now completely accessible, I think hopefully is a, will be a catalyst for other accessibility projects on campus. Now, Brooks is saying this is just part of the fight, and he is hoping that people will see this and continue to work toward making everything accessible because he said some buildings on campus are still not accessible. Back to you guys.